one simple goal in mind, encouraging people to do good by donating to local nonprofits. A lot of great organizations out there which are in need across Southeast Louisiana. WDSU's Morgan Lentz has joined us live this morning at Second Harvest Food Bank with details on what this day means for all of these groups and now more than ever. Morgan, good morning. Yeah, absolutely. Chad, Randy, good morning. So there are so many great nonprofits working in the New Orleans metro area. Second Harvest, obviously one of the best. We're joined by the president and CEO this morning to tell us more about that need. So let's start. I think when people donate or, you know, want to help an organization, they want to know how is that money or time going to be used? Kind of talk about how Second Harvest uses that. Uh, sure. Well, one of the, the silver linings of the tragedy, the fact that Americans waste 40 percent of all the food that they grow manufacture process and prepare is that we're able to capture food um, that may be in landfills otherwise that means we can be extremely efficient for every dollar that's donated to us we can feed a family of four because our costs are not in the food which is primarily donated but in the trucks and the refrigeration and what it takes to get that food out to people in need we're standing here in elmwood some people might wonder how how far of a reach you know if i live maybe in the river parishes i'm down in the bayou, you know, does supporting Second Harvest help people in my community? Absolutely. Well, Second Harvest is one of 200 Feeding America food banks, so every parish, every county is covered by a food bank. Our service area is from Mississippi to Texas, so we have another facility in Lafayette, we have a facility in Lake Charles, and we're working on bringing up a facility in the bayou because, as you know, Lake Charles has experienced a lot, a lot of devastation with hurricanes recently, and Ida really had an impact on Homa Thibodeau. Just quickly, give me the uh, where should people go if they want to donate. No-hunger.org is our website. You can volunteer, you can donate for us. It will teach you how to do food drives if you'd like to do that. And we are so, so thankful. Again, it takes the community to make us successful. It absolutely does, Miss Natalie. We appreciate you for taking a minute to talk to us here. So again, you can go to that website and really help out people in your community and really across the state of Louisiana. We'll have another uh, inf interview, excuse me, coming up at 630. But for now, uh, reporting live at Second Harvest, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.